In the gaming world, racing games are certified classics and have a special place in gamers' hearts. Since its birth in the early 1970s, the genre has been a driving force in the evolution of the whole of video games, including the emergence of blockchain racing games that allow gamers to enjoy the thrill of speed and competition while giving them a chance to earn NFT rewards. Now let's rev this engine and jump straight into the five best play-to-earn racing games that you should absolutely consider trying. Let's race! To kick us off, we have Rev Racing by Animoca Brands, a game that kick-started the next generation of blockchain racing games. As the first ever arcade simulation car racing game on the blockchain, Rev Racing has grown to be one of the most popular gaming dApps on its native chain, Polygon. Rev Racing attempts to give users the feel of traditional racing games, with cars that feel different from each other, cool features like real-life tracks, controller support, and is playable directly from a browser. You can also test your driving skills against other players by competing in events for a chance to win Shard and Rev, and create your own NFTs through the Fusion system. To get started with Rev Racing, you'll have to buy some Rev tokens as an entry fee, the ecosystem's native currency, then buy a car NFT from the Rev Racing collection on OpenSea, and finally verify your account to get the full play-to-earn experience. The game is powered by the Shard and Rev tokens, both of which can be used across the Rev Motorsport ecosystem. Next up, we have another game by Animoca Brands, MotoGP Ignition, built on the Flow blockchain as an officially licensed MotoGP competitive management and collectibles game. This means you can own and trade collectibles of your favorite bikes and personalities from MotoGP on the blockchain, including the video moments, Hot Shots. MotoGP Ignition has two game modes, Champions, a fantasy sport weekly event, and Manager, the core MotoGP Ignition experience. Manager mode is a racing manager game that allows you to compete against other players by using NFTs of MotoGP riders and bikes, with gear NFTs coming in the future. From deciding what you want your rider to do on a lap-by-lap -lap basis, to maintaining your bike and rider's condition, and even building a full racing team, the game is also powered by the Shard and Rev tokens. If you are looking for more horsepower, literally, then Pegaxi might be for you. Instead of racing with cars or bikes, you race with horses, cool-looking winged mech horses to be exact. To play Pegaxi, you'll need to buy a Pega NFT. Afterwards, you can enter a race for free. As of making this video, Pegaxi hasn't released a player-controlled gameplay mode, so after the race starts, it's pretty much hands-off. You'll have to watch your Pega compete against others with factors such as the horse and stadium attributes determining your performance. The goal of the race is to place in the top three and earn rewards in the form of Viz, its in-game currency. Players can also earn tokens through breeding and selling or renting a Pega to a player for a share of their earnings. Next up, we have Zed Run, another racehorsing game with futuristic horse NFTs. Similar to Pegaxi, Zed offers you a collection of NFT horses. After purchasing one through the Zed Run OpenSea collection, you can either start competing in races by first paying a buy-in fee that determines the size of the prize pool, or participate in free races that offer XP rewards. Paid races offer a top six payout structure, meaning that all of the top six racehorses receive a share of the prize money. These races are simulated, though the unique characteristics of your horse play a part in determining its likelihood of winning. This, of course, may make breeding a lucrative strategy for playing the game. Last but not least, we have Dragon Kart, a Mario Kart-esque skill-based 3D racing game. Dragon Kart is built on the Binance Smart Chain and features cute cartoon characters taken from the Peek Along series by a well-known Vietnamese artist named Tong Fly. The game offers two gaming modes, free to play and play to earn. The former works by giving new players a default character and racing car to participate in the racing arena of Dragon Kart. While rewards are not limited to play to earn users, it'll take significantly longer for free to play users to achieve higher ranks and win rewards than players who buy characters and cars in the marketplace. Cart dollars, the in-game currency, can be staked to receive points, which can be redeemed for other NFTs. Alright, those were some of the best racing play-to-earn games, but as you can see, developers are trying to come up with blockchain-based games that people would actually want to play. 
Of course, earning while at it is the icing on the cake, but attracting and maintaining players is the real obstacle that they have to overcome first. That said, if racing games aren't your thing, check out this video where we cover a complete review of Big Time, a blockchain-based MMORPG game.